All right, today we're talking about the Wii Subjugator in 20CV. It's been a while since I tested any Wii anything. These, this particular knife came from Nick, who also sent me the D2 Wii that I tested a while back. And maybe I'll talk a little bit later in the video about why I don't buy Wii stuff anymore. Why I stopped buying it years ago. So I'm going to cover all the normal stuff. The sharpening, how it tested. This had already been sharpened, so this is just the regular third and fourth sharpening test and verification just like normal no factory edge on this one so we'll go ahead and get through that cutting real quick and then we'll come back and talk about how it did All right, now that we saw that cutting, and hopefully I'll get this this time. The hardness will be in the description, and I will pin it in a comment below. I did not have a chance to find out the hardness on this before I recorded the video. Just don't have the time right now to do things in the order that I'd like to. So, let's get into it. It was already sharpened when I got it, as I said in the beginning. This is 15 degrees per side. I sharpened it a second time. I cut the edge off. I sharpened it a third time. And it felt a whole lot like the 20CV on this RSK. You guys have seen the videos on that. I will talk about the hardness of that in a later video. I'm expecting this to be a whole lot in the same realm as that. Didn't feel super soft sharpening. I didn't have any problem taking the burr off, but it was far from some of the better 20 CV that I've sharpened and tested. So on the first test, third edge, 15 degrees per side, 1500 grit. This cut 135 feet fine edge, 80 feet working edge for a total of 215 feet. Sharpened it again, same way, stropped it the same way. Did the verification test, 136 feet fine edge, 81 feet working edge, for a total of 217 feet. I'm not going to touch on it too much in this video because I am working on a video talking about import knives and why I don't buy them anymore. These test results kind of show that. They've got machining down, fit and finish down for the most part. The heat treat leaves much to be desired. I'm not positive how much this costs. I don't I don't even look at, at this kind of stuff. When I'm looking to pick up a knife to test or anything like that, I'm going to guess being titanium 20 CV in a Wii, it's probably over $200. And I don't see the value in this. 
when I can get an S30V knife for $75 to $100 less. It isn't going to cut much less than this. And I know it's going to have a decent heat treat on it. It is kind of a shame. It's ground decent. It cuts okay. It's not uncomfortable. However, with the amount of models that they release, and as fast as they pump these things out, I'm not surprised that the heat treat suffers on any of these that I've tested so far. One of the big reasons I don't buy them anymore is... And I know this was a few years ago, but I had a couple of these myself, different models in the different steels that they do, and they, they were bad. You can go back and see one of them that I tested, a Wii S35BN. It only cut as much as a lot of the imported D2 does. It, it was disappointing all around. For what the knife cost, for how it did, just not my thing. If you guys have any of the current Wii stuff, let me know down below how it does. I'm sure I'm going to get somebody who is going to tell me how great their Wii 20, C 20 CV is. And that's fine, maybe you actually got a good one. But I've had a chance in the past to own some of these. And over the years, I've tested a ton of the imported M390 20CV. And with the exception of two examples, all the rest of them, they're in this range or lower. So I can say from my testing, it is extremely rare to get a decent M390 20CV from these imported knives like this. Let me know what you guys think. That's all I have for this one. As always, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.